Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge Co-op. So we are basically felling trees to try and buy cultivators and drills to start arable on this map. So this is the copy map, it's a very nice map and it's basically a start from scratch map. Uh, we should probably keep the time at time 6, about 8.30 in the morning, that's fine. Uh, chainsaw is just over there. If you missed episode number 1, basically we're working in our plot over here. We're clearing trees in this forest and selling them over here at the sawmill, which is actually right next to us. So, really, we, we're doing alright. We have £29,000. We can start to buy cultivators. Um, the one which we're targeting is not that expensive. We could buy two of these, we could both do the job, uh, or we could just get one of these, take it in turns, and then get a drill. No renting, of course, that's not allowed in this series. But I'm going to start... And, well, we could also take it in turns to um, to do forestry, to cut down trees and to sell them. Uh, oh, yeah. Where, <laughs> oh, yeah, where do they spawn? Over there. Right, that's not too bad. Okay, so there we have it. Our cultivator on the back. And we don't need a plough. We actually do have the mod which allows us to use a cultivator as a plough, as we did with the previous series. So, yeah, if we wanted to cut the grass first, that is the place where we'd sell it to such a bell sell point but you should be able to sell from the forage wagon and of course this plot is a strange shape well it's actually a very normal shape it's a rectangle but with the way it's cutting through the grass field it is a strange shape it's going to leave a very strange shape field so we're just going to have to try and figure out exactly where the boundary is shouldn't be too hard to do hmm Actually, maybe it is. I, I noticed the grid lines are not marked on the map like they are with No Man's Land. So who knows? It will be a bit trickier. So we are there. We're now in our land. Yep. So if we sort of go all the way up to the top, roughly to the top, there is a track. I don't know if we should leave the track free. This chainsaw is doing a bit of logging. Um, yeah, just going to have to keep figuring out exactly where the boundary is. That's good. We're on the line. Obviously it's really weird, it looks so weird at this stage, but as soon as we can afford it we'll buy plot 24 for 69,360 and it'll expand all of that. So yeah, strange beginnings but it's just the way it works. And we can actually go all the way up to the tree line and to the river, so we'll turn here obviously we want to get as much land as possible but we don't want to be in the river or on super bumpy ground but at least that sort of put a marking out so we now know exactly where to cultivate up to yeah if we were going to cut the grass first we'd have to get at the very least a mower and a forage wagon probably a windrower and yeah it's going to wipe out the money for cultivators and drills and it is a good idea to get the crop, a, a decent crop in the ground. It's also weed infested, as you can see. So, um, yeah, we want to be, we want to be doing well. We want to be getting a good crop in as soon as possible. It's still a bit bumpy. I guess we're on the riverbank. But Chainsaw is getting some more logs. I'll probably do some more logging later. Yeah, we should probably also invest in a rear weight. Although, as I said before, you could just use the cultivator as the rear weight which would be much more cost effective. Okay, right, nice. So, <laughs> a super strange shape field, but at least we know what we own and what we can cultivate. I'm not going to cultivate the track. I think it would look weird. We'd have to drive through the field as well. It would, it would just be weird. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So, I'm going to do this. It really shouldn't take too long. Using the front loader as a counterweight, <laughs> as a front weight. Yeah, just use other tools as counterweights instead of buying dead weight. That's the way forward. Right, see you in a second.
and that is already this plot almost fully cultivated. Of course we do have another side over there. Uh, I don't know how much of that we own, not too much, but some of it. So yeah, I don't know if we should just take a break from this and load up a trailer of wood so we keep having money coming in or if we should just go straight in and cultivate it and then yeah move on to drilling or something I don't know a uh, little bit of server lag uh, the server lag is not the best we've always had it with every map it's not the map it is the server um, but yeah there's not really much I can do about it it's the server that I'm paying for a dedicated server but I guess it's just not that good <laughs> it's always lagging I noticed there is a piece of grass over there which I've missed, which we'll go back to. I think it's because it's very uneven. It was right on the riverbank. Okay, that's that piece done. And then this piece. Nice. Right. Yeah, this is the bit. It's, it is because it's uneven. It's just the way it is. Brilliant. So how much do we own on the other side? Oh, actually, quite a lot. Almost all of that. It would be good if we could have two cultivators on the go. So maybe it's worth just getting a trailload of wood in so that we can then obviously have more money to then put towards another cultivator. Because we have two tractors, having two on the go is always very handy. But for now, I'll just drop off this over here. Also, eventually, this side is going to have to be turned into a field, an arable field, but we can't do that until we have a stump grinder, because it's absolutely full of stumps. You can't really see them, but they're there. It also looks to be full of sorghum. Is that sorghum? It must be another weed, is it? I don't know, maybe it is sorghum. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, yeah, let's go and get the trailer. We'll fly over the bridge, and we'll be back with it, and we can use the cultivator as a rear weight, which will be very handy. Oh, looks like there's been a bit of a, an accident over here. Good job I was passing. Hang on. Two should be able to do this, surely. Wait, I did that on my own in the end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, okay, let's get the other one. That is the issue with not having super strength. Yes, it would be good to have another cultivator. Right, so I guess just putting the trailer about here should be alright. And we'll put the cultivator on the back. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but I'm sure it's going to make some sort of a difference. It must do. Actually, we can get the weight of it. How much does it weigh? 1.1 tons. So yeah, it's pretty much the equivalent of a fairly standard weight. That's going to be helpful. Probably the exact sort of size weight I would have put on this tractor anyway, about a ton. Right, here we go. I think probably into threes, maybe into quarters. These trees, we'll see. Oh, don't do that. Sort of an optimum length. Maybe into thirds. Thirds would be good. We'll just have to see, but it wants to be the heavy ones at the bottom, ideally. And yeah, I think I'm just going to do one tray load of wood today because we did a whole episode of wood last time. And we've got loads to do. We've got the cultivating to do. We've got drilling to do. We don't want to be just doing wood all the time. But let's just see what sort of a difference this makes having the uh, the cultivator on. Sorry, our rear weight. Oh, well, not much of a difference if you don't fully clamp it. Yes. We'll try that again. There we go. Right, that should have clamped it this time. 
It's more when I'm actually at the trailer lifting up height. Yeah, I can already tell it's a huge difference. Still a little bit light, but yeah, it, it's a huge difference. I think probably my logs are a bit long. <laughs> it's not ideal. Uh, well, I will risk it. Let's drop it here. I should probably strap as I go as well. Right, yep, yeah, let's just try and load up this trailer as well as I can. Okay, there is one more log just lurking, actually there's two, there's two more logs just lurking in here. We'll get both of those put onto the trailer, and then the trailer will be full enough to take, I think Chainsaw got 8,000, possibly 8,800 pounds for his load, um, which seems pretty standard, like eight to 10,000 pounds for these trailers. Yeah, this has got a bit of growth on the far end. We can actually prune that. There we go, it just disappears. And we want to have the, the narrow end on the back. So, sort of like that, it should be fine. Oh, <laughs> I didn't strap. I should have strapped before I did that, because uh, we we're at risk of losing them. Uh, it looks like we might have just caught it. Okay, what have I done? Oh no, no, that's actually strapped my... How? How has that strapped the tractor? Oh, crikey. And the final log, yeah, I managed to do that without losing any, thankfully. That would have been an absolute pain. Right, let's grapple that. And then I suppose we'll take the cultivator off again near the other field, because that is going to have to be cultivated. Unless, of course, we do go with the mowing approach, we might cut that area. It is a much bigger area. But at least now we have, at the very least, one side of our land growing or drilled. No, no, no. Actually, that looks small enough to pick up. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> That's so annoying. Right. Come here, log. This is the issue with when it gets really full. They just roll off too easily. Right, better put that up. Good. We're strapped. Gonna take the cultivator off. Pop this here. Yeah, as I said, we might cut this. I'm not too sure. But the priority now is to get that trailer load of wood sold. Oh, crikey. Now that went badly wrong. Oh dear. Well, my tractor has been fished out of the river and Chainsaw has just bought a roller so that that field which has just been drilled can be rolled to improve the yield. It's not a bad load though. We do have at least three trees on here and I might have picked up a few other bits as well from previous trees. So I'm going to go with £9,000. I'd be very happy if we have made £9,000 from this because I can see the bank account is down to 7000 Someone's spending it all. Certainly it's nice to have the forest though. We can just keep going to it to get more money, basically. And at the same time, we're clearing land for future fields. 
Of course, I have my interactive zone markers off again, but I do know that the trigger is about here. I'm going to have to switch it on, though, to see exactly where the button is. Uh, yeah, I'm in the trigger. 8,723. If we were rounding up, yeah, 9,000, but no, it's not. It almost was. Um, but yeah, 16 in total. Very nice. So, well, we are left now with the big field. And, yeah, the question of should we mow it and then sell the grass, because grass is worth very little, or should we just go straight in, cultivate it up, and get a crop in? I think if it was me, I would just cultivate it up, because it, it doesn't seem very good. It's just like very standard field grass. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. We have decided that, yeah, cultivating it up is the best idea. It just is. You can see that getting a nice healthy crop in which is fertilised and rolled is going to be so much better than wasting money on mowers and forage wagons and windrows at this stage just to cut some low quality meadow grass. Uh, if it was silage, it would be a different story, but of course it won't be. Right, so I have no idea where our boundary is at this stage. Um, I think the majority of this will be quite easy, but it's when we get to the far side that's when it's going to be trickier. So let me just quickly see. Yeah, so all of these trees, but then here there's just like a sudden turn. So that is where it's going to be a bit more problematic. But. Yes, if we have two cultivators on the go, we should be able to do this. And as soon as we have marked out the boundary, it should be much easier. Yeah, yeah, we can go all the way over here. Of course, we can go even closer. This is just like a preliminary line. Is that our line? Not yet. We can go a bit further. field stone is appearing as you can see. Right, that's it. About there. I might have already crossed that line, I'm not too sure. Alright, okay. Uh, we can go a bit more at an angle. This can be fine-tuned in the future. Yeah, I'm actually a bit far in, I think. Yeah. Well, not to worry. We can, like I say, adjust it in the future. But all the way to the riverbank is fine. And then it's basically just like colouring it in. <laughs> we just have to cultivate between the lines. Here's the river. We'll get back to the start. But yes, if Chainsaw does buy another cultivator probably going to have to be the same one because it's just the cheapest and I would say the only one we can afford, then it shouldn't take too long. Might be better off putting the tractor into manual because it does like to keep changing gears, which ends up being slower. But we'll see how we go. And then, yeah, maybe this side can be drilled next time. But I would say, already, we have some pretty good progress. There we are. Back to the start. Nice. <laughs> it's quite a big area.
says chainsaw it did actually get a different one to me I don't know how much that one cost I should think it was one of the base game ones so is that the one which is 11,000 I'm not too sure now maybe I've gone with a more expensive one I'm not too sure we will uh, have a quick look just go to here did I pay over the odds for my one I'm not convinced oh it's 12,000 um, it's also lighter that one 2.5 meter working width this one is 2.2 right okay but I suppose we do have the added benefit of having the extra weight with this one uh, which did come in handy with the logs and it was still a bit light on the back so yeah it's good and bad but yeah oh, also we do have devices machines for picking up the uh, the stones like really low cost front load of buckets and stuff that can sift the uh, the stones from the soil sieve it out but we'll keep going with this and we'll get this plot cultivated today And here we are at the end of the field. Better do that piece over there. Yeah, that other cultivator is certainly much easier to pull. Faster and wider. But not as good as a rear weight. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's not all bad. Okay, and I think Chainsaw can probably uh, finish that. I'll get this piece over here. Very nice. done. So, we have another field. And until we clear the forest over there, it's the last field, uh, or until we buy another plot, but that's probably quite some time away. For now, uh, actually I might keep this over here, because it is heavy and it can be used as a rear weight. So this is a great place to finish the episode. I'll try not to fall off the bridge this time. Thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.